Hello, and this is Jada Ashley Spencer, and today we are going to be making the nettle beer. That's why I've got this glove on, basically, because um, it will be dumb to pick sting nettles with your bare hands as they sting you. So yeah, so um, I'm literally I was going to put my like uh, fluorescent orange work trousers on, and I was just like, I'm going to look like a bit of a twat, personally. Um, so I'm literally just going to go out like this, pick them all, I don't know how many I'm going to get, I'm probably going to get them buckets that I use for um, cleaning my fish tank out, put the nettles in there, and yeah, just pick as many as that, I might get a bag, I don't know, if I a bucket or a bag, don't know which, but uh, yeah, anyway, I will, I want to get them things ready, and I'll catch you in a second. Okay, so out here we got quite a lot of sting nettles, as you can see. I'm literally going to prop this up and then start cutting. I uh, don't know where I want to go, actually. I think I'm going to go in there somewhere. But, yeah, there's loads. So, I'll probably start there and work my way around to uh, montage.
stick in it. Oh, I got my stick now, so it's here and my bucket here. All I'm gonna do is pour it in here. So, uh, hopefully this doesn't go wrong. Hopefully I can do this on camera. Oh god, it's spewing out. It's all spilling out. So, as I really don't want to put my hand in there, as much as I'd like to, I'm going to put on some gloves and then um, just wash these out, rinse them out to get rid of any bugs or anything like that, so yeah. Sorry about that, back again. Don't know if I'll keep that in, I probably should. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's attach this. Let's start spinning. I'm sure this claims it. Next time I do want to definitely make more. Right, that should be enough. Then we'll literally pick this up. Cycle. This is my first time make, making nettle beer, so to be honest, I quite literally have no idea what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> so we'll give it one more wash with luck, then we'll put it all in the pan. Okay, that's just sprayed everywhere. Lovely. What I want to do is um, I want to fill up the kettle. Mm -hmm. I don't 
quite know the measurements for this because he picked more. He had about two bags, so I'm just going to say it'll be half. Just a little under half. What you have. Enough there. Now the water is clearer. So make it dry. So basically we're going to transfer this into here, but well, it's me, and now I've gone. I'm just taking, just take this, dollop that all in there. Basically. The person in the video filled it up to about there. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> he filled it up with hot water. Let, let's just say that, and then he put it on Z hob. I've literally chucked everything onto the floor, like weather. So we're, we're going to chuck all this on the home. So we'll go to the central one. I'm going to wait for the kettle to boil, then do that. But meanwhile, um, garlic and lemons. So I will catch you in a second. I will do the garlic and lemons in a sec. I'll do that while this is boiling. Basically, yeah, there was a fly on there and then as soon as I knew it, the kettle had boiled, so yeah. All right, so we're gonna fill this up and then um, and start cutting the garlic up. I don't know how to, to cut garlic up. It's gonna sound really weird, but Right, cool. So let's just pour all of this into there. We are going to use a strainer to strain all, all this good stuff out. So, oh, I mean, all the bad stuff out. Uh, there we go. What am I all about? So, yeah. So yeah, that should be enough. I'm just gonna get the garlic and then we'll grate that and put it on top. Okay, so um, yeah, as I was saying, this is the first time we've used garlic. So, do you like, do you like to cut the skin off? I'm, I'm not quite sure. Um, I mean, I could, but... Let me cut the skin off and then, uh, yeah, we'll get on to this. Right, so I've got, uh, where, where'd it go? There you go. It's been such a long time that I've, uh, used this, I didn't even know we had this new one. I think it would be well. Right. Got the grater, got the garlic.
Garlic, I mean, um, ginger. Was I actually saying garlic for that long? I don't feel like this is coming along that I feel like I should have just chopped, chopped this off and then put it in like that. I might actually do that. It's, it's, it's a bit tedious. Right. Because it will still strain all the garlic out, so... May as well. Let's have the man on it. <laughs> I promise if this taste if this turns out to taste really nice, I will do a proper tutorial on it. This is just a I'm sure it goes like this sort of tutorial, so yeah. All right, let's get, uh, get the ladle, like that. So basically, I'm gonna turn on the hob. Starting to get this lovely green colored liquid. I'll show you this, obviously. It's green colored liquid here. Start submerging this. Mmm. Uh, tasty. It's starting to look a lot like spinach. Especially the actual vines. So that's. Hopefully, that's a good indication. I'm not quite sure. So you want to do this for about 20 minutes. Oh, I'm going to do like, sort of like pushing it down and all that. Pressing it for about 5 minutes and then leave it for about 15. So in total about 20. Just let all that goodness come out of this. <laughs> I'm saying it like I know what I'm doing. I currently have no idea what I'm doing. But yeah. Right. So we're just gonna we're just gonna lay it um simmer for a little bit, put the top on. Never burn it all the way. Just put it. Oh, screw it, we'll put it all the way. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll let a little bit to breathe. But what we're going to do is chop two lemons up, because in the thing he used, um, he used four, but we haven't got that much on here. So we're just going to use two today. And then we'll get cream of tartar and, um, and yeast. And an actual bucket, not a bucket like this, but different bucket. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll start by doing that. Okay, so it's started to really bubble. Um, I think there's trapped air in it because if I move it away like that, it starts to really bubble. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna take it out now. It's only been about 15 minutes, so I wouldn't say you leave it on there for longer. So I'm just gonna turn off the hob now. <laughs> I know we started on here, but stuff went wrong. So um, I'm just gonna leave it there for now. Um, I've got the bucket here, it's just drying out. And then, um, Basically, we're gonna sieve it through something. Literally, if I can't find a sieve, I'm gonna have to sieve it through this. 
Do you know how tedious that's going to be? <laughs> so um, hopefully I can find a sieve. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, I, I think I'm going to start crying if I can't. But yeah, we, we've got this. So um, fun times. Is that? Oh god, I just bent that coffee thing. If we have got a sieve, it'll be in here. We haven't got a sieve. Oh, it's, it's going to be fun then. So, uh, yeah, you want to put it through a sieve. you probably got a sieve. Is this even a sieve? I don't know. Um, strainer. I've got a sieve, but it's going to go through other holes, isn't it? So I'm just going to put it through this little strainer and then put it directly in there. So, um, yeah, let's get on to that somehow. <laughs> so I've literally got my bucket right down there. Um, I don't know the best way to actually do this. Um, got that is heavy. I think I'm just gonna push it down a little bit more. I know you can't really see what I'm doing on camera, but. Just push it down a little bit more. Try and get as much flavour as possible. And then... I think I'm just gonna... <laughs> is, it, is it gonna take too long if I go like this? Yes, that is gonna... <laughs> That's gonna take a long time, Joe. Um, I can't think of another way how I'm going to actually do this, apart from doing it like that. Unless I can find like a beaker that I can put it through. I'm going to find a beaker and then try and thread it through there, so I'll catch you in a sec. Okay, so I've managed to find one of these. Um, amongst the kitchen. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna fill it up with this ladle. Do a slap. Uh, try and get as much out with this ladle. Until it becomes a bit lighter. Then I'm literally gonna pour it through like this. And then I'm literally just gonna hear back in here. So we hear back into the pot. That sounds a bit weird. So we can get as much fa uh, flavor as possible. Keep trying to strain it with uh, the ladle as much as possible to try and get all that juice out. As much juice as possible. Right, put back for here. But at the end, I'm just going to really press into everything. So, so proper press into the garlics. Just strain them out for any all the good stuff. It's a really tedious job. Whack it back through the strainer. 
This literally looks like if you had a um, curry pot noodle, chicken curry pot noodle, it literally looks like <laughs> the liquid off that. Right. I'm pretty sure I have, I've actually got a strainer, but I don't know where it is. Rather disappointing. We've got proper oh, There you go. A matchup. Try and. Oh, this is not work, is it? Oh god, what am I doing? I've got too many utensils in here. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm literally, uh, I can get the camera down here, I'm literally getting the matcher, just pressing down, squeezing it, so it hopefully sticks to the bottom, all I'm going to do is literally pour this in, right, so, I'm gonna get the matcher. Really compress it. To the bottom. Keep trying to do this. Oh, we can't get any more. Oh. So what I'm left with is literally just a little paste at the bottom. So yeah. All right now, my tripod's doing mad, mad stunts. Right, so we're gonna grab the little sieve thing, strainer, push this through. I was never going to get up to work. I'll get a spoon and try and strain it a little bit more out. I'm, I'm literally using every utensil in the kitchen right now. I'm just going to get back and just be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Alright. So, it appears we are left with this. <laughs> it already looks like beer, but... Yeah. So... I reckon we should just fill it to probably about 10 around here because it isn't that many net, uh, nettles in here. And then we'll put one, one kilogram of sugar in. So let me get all of them prepped. Okay, so I got my sugar here. Uh, labeled sugar because I somehow managed to wreck every packet that I have. Uh, then we're going to get this and a bowl and then we're literally going to set this Come on. one handed. Boom baby, everything's over the floor. Just how we like it. It's going to be a mad mission to clean up all this. So turn that on, let it restart to zero, then re, so to zero, and then we're gonna pour a kilogram of this in there. Oh, 
can get it open. So normally you'd use two kilograms. Right, how much is a kilogram? It's five. Ooh. Kilograms a thousand, isn't it? Okay, uh, we're gonna need more than that. Okay, so I actually believed I had more sugar, but turns out I don't. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add some malt to it. As you can use, I'm gonna put about 400 grams in this. I'm pretty sure that's a gram. I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that is a gram. A uh, kilogram, I mean. Where? Anyway. Okay, so I decided to move up here. But. <laughs> Good, sir. The parents have come back. But I've managed to strain a bit more out of them um, nettles. A lot more. So we're just going to add this. Just strain for a bit. It's going off a really weird smell. Get as much of this out as possible. So th this is going to be only a half one but yeah Ho hopefully it tastes good all right so that's all all right now we want to we want to add i believe the lemons next so um literally cut the lemon in half both of them I believe I have a lemon strainer as well, but I don't know where it is. You just want to pinch them, get all the all the goodness out of them. That sweet lemon goodness. There's no more sweet lemon goodness in that one. You're just going to crush this like this. Wait, cool. Oh. Right, next you want to see as we haven't got that much as, as we only got one bag full of uh, stinging nettles. I'm going to fill it to about 15, just below 15, so about 14, 14 litres. Um, kind of roughly well, like 13 litres we're going to say, so about Right about there-ish, um, as I only got half the amount. Um, we're also going to only, only add um, thingy like that. Ugh. See, I believe this is more than one kilogram, but 
Yeah. I'm sure it is. <laughs> but we're just going to add this to the mix. So, yeah. So, ooh. We can always add more later on. Don't put this up in. Scarlet Rail, no, that didn't work. Get all that like that. Get all the malt. All the malt stuck, all the sugar hasn't. All the sugar's just gone. So yeah. Alright, next we're gonna stir it. Well, I'm gonna wash my hands quickly. But well, then we'll stir it in. So yeah. Okay, so I'll just wash my hands. Now we're just gonna mix the mixture. I like to do this for a good number of minutes. So we're, we're going to mix it up and then we're going to put the rest of the water in and then after that we shall be putting uh, the yeast and cream of tartar in. So yeah, Just finish this off. There we go. Uh, there we go. So I'm gonna fill this up to about there and I'll be back in a second. So I've poured in the water. Uh where's my spoon? Here it is. So it's up to just below 15. Well, it's technically 15 actually. And it's weird, it's still this weird uh browny creamy colour. So yeah. Okay, so I've actually half the yeast amount. Normally you put an eleven kilo uh 11 kilos, 11 grams, 40 pints, but this is just over um, thingy, just over half, so fill this in. Start to put, um, stir this up. Um. Right, so next we're going to add the cream of tartar. Uh, so it comes in little sachets like this. I'm just going to add a whole sachet because I can't really be bothered to uh, open it. Oh, it's split out open, so yeah. So just add all of this. And apparently this helps to break down the yeast and all that good stuff. So yeah, all right, that's all in. We just want to mix this all together. I just want to mix it like all, so we don't have any stuff at the bottom. If you get what I mean, it's normally you just get a layer of 
a layer of crap I would show you guys in there. I think I've done a video on it. Literally looks like sick. But hopefully with this we won't. Just gonna mix this all together. I like to go like that so it disturbs it. Go back around clockwise. Then we break it by going anti-clockwise. Do that one more time. And then we'll leave it. And I normally put mine in here, so well, that's what I'm gonna do anyway. And then we'll leave it for a week. Hopefully my next attempt at doing this will be a quicker one, but yeah. First attempt and all that, screw it. May as well. Right, sweet. So I hit this off. Put it there. And yeah, basically what we're gonna do. Put the lid over it. Make sure it's clicked in at every point. Cool. You literally pick it up and then you put it in your des designated area. So mine is just in here. Hopefully it'll just slot in. Uh, and I normally like to just close this up. So it's nice and warm in here. And then, yeah, that is all cool. And that will stay in there for about a week. And then we'll get into putting it into the fermentation thing, which also has beer in. But that should be done in a week. So, yeah. So, um, this has been Jada Ashley Spencer. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I know I have. Oh, ish. Yeah, apart from getting chased around by a bee, parents coming back shouting at me. Just be like, what the hell are you doing? Um, <laughs> apart from that, I've, I haven't really learned anything yet because we only learn stuff once things are done in, yeah, in everything. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to clean all of this up because that's just in my room. Downstairs, there's so much stuff to clear up. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get on to doing that. So anyway, this has been Chad Ashley Spencer. Please can you like, subscribe, share, check out my other videos. And goodbye, my friends. Bye.